In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. On Holy Saturday, our eyes and our prayer turn towards the tomb, the tomb in which our Lord Jesus rests in his death. After such violence on the cross, after such disdain, after such an unjust death, our Lord rests in the tomb on Holy Saturday. And it's fitting, isn't it, that the man who lays him to rest in the tomb is named Joseph, as St. Joseph laid him to rest so many times in his crib as a child, as he rested with Jesus after work. So too now there's a Joseph who helps our Lord be laid to rest. The eyes of the church on this last day of Lent, Holy Saturday, look, as always, to Mary. Mary, our mother, is a great model of faith and hope on Holy Saturday. St. Bernard says that she was the only one who kept faith in the resurrection. In Mary alone did the faith of the church remain steadfast during the three days that Jesus lay in the tomb. And although everyone else wavered, she who conceived Christ in faith kept the faith that she had once for all received from God and never lost. Thus she could await with assured hope for the glory of the risen Lord. Mary alone kept the faith of the church in Christ in the resurrection. We find here another parallel to the beginning of the gospel. Mary alone knew that our Lord was alive. Mary alone knew who who he was and that he was living inside of her. And now at the end, Mary alone knows that he will live again. Mary alone knows that he will come into the world again, alive and well, in the resurrection. St. Thomas Aquinas expands on this this idea of St. Bernard to comment that the tradition that the Church has of honoring Our Lady on Saturday comes from her role here on Holy Saturday. Since the resurrection took place on a Sunday, this is Aquinas with his logic, since the resurrection took place on a Sunday, we keep holy this day instead of the Sabbath as the Jews did of old. However, we also sanctify Saturday in honor of the glorious Virgin Mary, who remained unshaken in faith all day Saturday after the death of her son. So we have this beautiful tradition of honoring the Blessed Virgin Mary on Saturday. And Our Lady, many of her apparitions and her miracles and her devotions have a special role for Saturday, a special place, the Sabbathine privilege of the scapular. If we wear the scapular and die, Our Lady promises that we'll go to heaven on the following Saturday. The devotion of the first Saturdays from Fatima, and there's many other examples. And Aquinas is saying, well, this, this, all that has a reason, and the reason is Our Lady's faith, her devotion on, on this day, on Holy Saturday. So we, like Our Lady, want to live today with faith, with patience, with joyful expectation of the resurrection. Come, Lord Jesus, resurrect, resurrect in the church, resurrect in the world, resurrect in me, resurrect in my life of faith, in my prayer life. Today is the last day of Lent. I'd like to thank all of you for joining me in these Lenten reflections. I ask for your prayer for myself, for the church, for all priests, for Opus Dei, of which I form a part. And if you like this um, meditation podcast, please consider sharing it with your family and friends. The more, the merrier. Rest assured that you're in my prayers and Please pray for me. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.